This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals Course D, Lesson 8, Nested Loops in Maze, Part 6. Zombie Hungry. Get the zombie to the sunflower using the fewest number of blocks possible. Fewest number possible, so I must need to use repeat. They want me to use less than 5. It looks like with 1 next to it, they want us to use forward once. Get the zombie to the sunflower. Hmm. All right. So, I know I'm going to use repeat. Let's start there. How could I do this? So, if I just do repeat move forward five, this obviously isn't going to work, but interesting. So, now I move forward five. But I'm not there. Okay, well, I need to turn left. Let's make sure it works. Uh-oh. Oh, do I need, only need to go forward four? Let's try four. Let's try two. I'm not really sure. Okay, so it must be a three here. Three, and then turn left. All right. Now, how can I do this without moving forward again? Because it really doesn't want us to use another forward. But I can only use one more thing of code. Well, I wonder if this is also three. Because if it is, I would need to turn left again. So we can have our repeat, repeat, this repeat. <laughs> I'm going to have this be a three as well. And what should happen is it hits this repeat and says, okay, I'm going to run the code inside of this three times. What it does then is drops inside and says, oh, I need to move forward three. We move forward three. We then turn left, hits the bottom of the bigger repeat and says, okay, that was once. Oh, I need to move forward three, move forward three, turn left, so on. Let's see what happens. Oh, awesome. We did it. Great. Let's keep going.